guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anaya Sierra and today I'm going to be showing you guys a what's in my iPhone video this is what my iPhone is currently looking like this is it without the case on I just have it in the color deep purple and I love it because it's so nice and sleek this is currently my last screen I just have some flowers on it super sleek super simple I did do a couple of what's in my iPhone videos if you guys do want to check that out but I decided to switch up the theme just because I wanted to do something new the new year's coming up and I felt like why don't we just restart the look of our phones so starting off with my home screen i have this super cute like pink color my phone is in like a pinky theme and i switched around my icons because i thought it looked so much cuter than just the regular icons and i feel like the weather app and the Waze app kind of adds some pop of color because i didn't want it to be like too simple this is what you see when you first open my iphone and i just have a whole bunch of like pink icons because i wanted the theme to be pink and girly and i also went ahead and customized my app so that they were pink and i did that through short cuts on your iphone but the first app that i have available to you guys is my instagram and you guys all know if you're not following me please go follow me it's at anaya sierra and these are just some of my highlights and that is my page and then the next app i have is pinterest and on this app is kind of like my ideas my visions for the new year or just like things that i wanted to save just because it's aesthetically pleasing so why not and then under instagram i just have my tiktok and this is my page if you guys do not follow me already at anaya sierra literally all my social media accounts are anaya sierra so it's super super easy to find and this is what it's currently looking like i'm really into like the color pink if you can't notice because why is my whole like feed all pink but yeah i just use this app to kind of post like my daily activities and kind of promote my youtube channel so then the next one i have is youtube of course when i open the app and here you can see actually my iphone 14 pro max video that i did last year but my phone was in a completely different layout this one so much better so let's definitely tune in to my videos if you have not watched me before if this is your first time watching me or tuning in this is just a kissy face widget that i got off pinterest because i thought it looked super cute so then under that i also have the verse of the day which is from the holy bible app i actually don't have that app displayed like on my phone just because it's easy to just click the widget and it brings you right into the app but it just gives you like a little verse of the day and you know you guys can do like a guided prayer you can also do like plans if you guys are interested in that i do love the holy bible app i think it's so convenient especially if you're just getting to know christ i just have a widget that says i am creating a life of my dreams because 2024 let's let's get into it to the right i love this widget so much because it is actually my photos i'm not gonna go in there just because it's kind of personal but i love that widget so much because it's like a palette of all the colors and it adds some sense of color like to the page so i do like that and it's so subtle and then i just have my calendar app you guys all know it is november 27th vlogmas is coming up hopefully i tap in we'll see just have the weather and i actually didn't decide to customize widgets on these two just because i felt like the blue added some sense of color you can let me know if it looks weird to you guys but to me like i'm just really liking how it looks i can't lie the waze app so that is an app i use to navigate the gps a lot of people use google maps stop using google maps like waze is so simple and it tells you where the cops are so if you're speeding and then underneath everything i just have the safari app and here is my page again my phone icon it looks a little different from the other icons my messages right over but i'm not gonna go in there because again personal and then sliding over to my home screen i just have a widget that says lucky girl because she's a lucky girl lucky girl syndrome that's what it's called remember that like sound on so that is where that came from the second widget that i have like right underneath it just says dream girl because i am a dream girl i just thought it was so cute it kind of also reminded me of, like the font of victoria's secret so that is why the victoria's secret is the only other app that is like out and not in a folder right next to the victoria's secret app i just have my productivity so i have facetime i have my notes i just have my notes this is like one of my folders but you know you guys know like notes are so private you write literally everything in there i actually do use it a lot and then i have my reminders my reminders is one thing that i do not really use because for whatever reason it doesn't pop up like as a reminder like it stays in a reminder app and it's like how am i gonna remember something when it's in the app so that's that and then i have my contacts and i have my app store my settings my mail i also have gmail but i only have mail because i have so many there's so many things that come through that email and it was taking up space in my phone you guys can see it's at 48 
thousand messages and that is one email address and that's not even for like content so yeah scrolling over to the right i just have my clock and that is all of my alarms i used to have so much more like last semester i swear i was waking up like every minute like it was insane but i try to wake up at like 9 45 now we're gonna work on like getting up earlier just so i can get my day started a little bit earlier because i do have a lot of things to do during the day and then i just have this app called flow and it's just a period tracker but i don't really use it to be honest i don't even know didn't even know that was still there until now and in my next folder i have the dual mobile app and the canvas app so the dual mobile app kind of goes hand in hand with my school and it's just an app to make sure you're you when you're logging into your school email to verify and then i have my canvas that's what my school uses to upload like all of our assignments stuff like that then i have docs and Passio Go. My school works with like a bus system. I don't really like take the bus though, but when I do, I do like to use this. Well, I don't like this app actually. We have a way better app, but whatever. I do have to use this app to know where the buses are going. And then I have a group me, and that is where all of my school events kind of like post things so that you can know to come to them. And then the next folder, I'm not gonna slide to that one because that's an app strictly for my school. But in my lifestyle folder, I do have Zoom, and you guys know Zoom. That is what I use to like log on to some of my classes when it's online i love getting online class can't lie and then i have my podcast i do like to listen to some podcasts sometimes right now i'm listening to save not soft and i do love listen to this girl her name is emmy moore and i love her podcast but she was talking about boundaries and as it relates to like christ and stuff so i do like to listen to only christ related podcasts and then i have spotify i don't use spotify at all i was actually taking a fitness class and the lady that was like instructing it she had a really good playlist so i had to get it and she said she had spotify so i had to download the app to see the playlist to transfer it to Mew music so that was a lot then i have my apple music right here and this is some of my playlists right now it's very 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 scattered kind of make the the switch from secular to christian music so that is why it's giving holy and a mess. After that, I have my shopping app and I have Amazon, I have Meshki. Meshki is one of my favorite apps, I'm obsessed. Right now they're having a sale because it's Black Friday, but this is where I honestly get most of my birthday dresses. Then I have Zara, oh my goodness, love Zara. I just shopped there for Black Friday and I got a whole bunch of cute stuff, but oh, the sale's over. They were having a sale though, so yeah. And then I also have Shein, a pretty little thing which you guys know and love. They do have some cute stuff. Fashion Nova, you guys all know that. And then Naked, I actually really like this app but it is on the pricier side. And they have really cute like simple clothes. Like this sweater is literally so cute. It's off the shoulder. Actually the price is not that bad but it's Black Friday. That's why the price looks like that but it's literally like $80 usually. So their things are just so expensive but I do like this app. And then we have Mango. They have really cute stuff. I like Mango. You guys know Mango. The only thing with Mango though is all their good clothes are usually online and in store. They don't have as many options, which I really don't like, but I do like Mango. And then I have DoorDash and I put it in shop because where else? That's like the only food app I really use to be honest. So I just put it there and then scrolling over and then over to the other side, I have H&M. In my photos app, I have Hooji, which I don't use anymore. I did used to use it in high school. I should delete it because I really don't use it. But they do store your pictures in there. I have Visco. I can show you guys what my Visco looks like. So this is what my Visco looks like. I actually haven't posted this in a really long time. But this is what my Visco is kind of currently looking like. Lens Buddy. Love Lens Buddy so, so much. This takes all of your pictures for you. If you guys don't have anyone to take your pictures. Um, I don't like asking people to take my pictures because I usually take a while and then I end up having an attitude like six minutes later and I'm like, what is the problem? So I just like to take them myself. And then I have Dazcam. Dazcam basically like uploads a picture and you guys can choose whether you want it to be like a Polaroid or like a film camera effect. So that's really cool. Then I have Canva and Canva is the app that I use to edit all of, I'm not logged in of course, but 
this is where I edit all my thumbnails and I love Canva more than Fonto. I think you guys know what Fonto is if I'm not mistaken. Like a lot of people use Canva or Fonto to like make their thumbnails for videos and stuff like that. But I find Canva just to be the easiest to work with. Then I have PixArt. I really do like PixArt. It's kind of like I have a Lightroom and Lightroom is usually what I use to like edit my pictures. We can take this for example. These are just some cupcakes that I had. This is what I use to like edit my pictures and it's super simple on this app. All you have to do is press auto and boom like your picture is uploaded and ready to go so then i have photo room and photo room is i'm not for like going in there but photo room is an app where you can erase the background of your picture and my next folder is business and it is my shopify app so when i did have my business these are the apps that i did use to create my website and stuff like that and then for tv i just have netflix currently currently i'm not watching too too much on netflix but my favorite netflix show is money heist i absolutely love that show so much i watched it at least six times in a row so and i have hulu so let me show you guys my peacock so right now i'm really into real housewives of new york is my all-time favorite show but only the latest season i think it's like the 15th or the 14th that new cast ate up like it wasn't too like sometimes real housewives is too much drama and i don't like that so it gave like real housewives of new york gave like petty drama but nothing too serious like they're arguing over cheese not people's husbands so it was just a lighter weight like fun show to watch i'm also watching winter house and summer house is really good you guys should definitely tune in i'm a reality tv girl i do like those type of shows so if you're not into it don't watch it disney plus i don't really use that app though i, I didn't have anywhere to put these so i said y'all gonna go over here i have my uber app in here i have my youtube app in this folder i have my youtube app again the youtube studio and shazam i have my shortcut app and that is what i use to edit all of my app and then i have my camera app and obviously i need easy access to that so i just put it there but yes that is just a little what's on my iphone video also the other widget that i have is just this po positive affirmations to start your day and it just says i will be present in every moment i am smart i am kind i am brave beautiful and today is a great day i thought that was a really cute like widget to just have and it goes with the theme but that is it for my what's in my iphone video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video bye